Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Ghoulier, and she is part of the re-release 6 pack. And along the way we're going to be comparing her against the original Ghoulier from Wave 1. Okay, so here is the re-release Ghoulier up close, and we'll start from the top and work our way down. She has light blue here with dark blue streaks. And on top of her head she's wearing a green headband. Comparing it with the original, her hair and the headband are pretty much identical. And comparing the glasses side by side, they are also identical. Now we'll take a look at her makeup. She is wearing brown eyeshadow and above that we have glitter. And she's also wearing bright red lipstick. The makeup on the original Gaulia is exactly identical. But you will notice differences in the features. The re-release has large blue eyes, where the original has smaller eyes. And also, the re-release has thinner lips, where the original has quite pouty lips. We'll now move on and take a look at her accessories. She's wearing pink earrings in the shape of zips. And they even have the little Monster High logo on them. Her necklace is done in grey and it has a little pendant there on the front. The earrings on the original are exactly identical. Her necklace is slightly different, again it's grey but it has a pink pendant. Moving down to her outfit, her top is done in black, white and red stripes and it's actually stitched to her pants so it's all in one outfit. Her tank top which she's wearing over her striped shirt is done in red and white and it has little cherries there on it and we also have a little skelet there at the top. And the straps are done in red ribbon. The tank top itself is actually just printed on the striped shirt. And it's just printed on the front and not the back. And here is the outfit on the original, and with the striped top, it's actually a full body suit, and I'll just show you that. And the stripes are actually a lot wider. Her tank top is also different, and for a start, it's actually a separate piece of material. It's done in red and white, but the red parts are done in red ribbon, and the cherries are a lot smaller. And instead of having a printed on skelet, it has a little plastic one, sewn on. As you can see from the back, the tank top goes all the way around. And here are the outfits side by side, and as mentioned, you can see the stripes are larger on the original, where the re-release has these smaller stripes. And just as a recap, we have this as one single print, where this is a separate piece of material. And of course we have a bit more detail going on with the red ribbon and the little skelet there, where this is just one single print. Comparing the black mesh gloves side by side, the original has longer elbow length gloves, where the re-release have shorter gloves. Her belt is done in black and white with a little skelet there on the front, and it has little piano keys on the side. On the original we have a slight variation, the scully buckle there is done in silver. Her three quarter length pants are done in red corduroy and they have a black ribbon there sewn on the top and they're covered in black polka dots. The pants on the original are virtually identical except for the band there at the bottom. They're done in vertical stripes where their re-release are done in horizontal and there's also a black stitching going around the bottom there. Boots are done in black and white with red laces. On the original, they are also done in black and white with red laces, but we have a red heel there and a little white skelet there with a ring around it, where the re release is just plain black. The things you don't get with the re release that came with the original is this red doll stand.
This handbag in the shape of a cassette tape and it has little brain designs and it says Monster Mix on it. It also has a black strap for a handle. This red hair brush in the shape of a skullhead. The diary which reads the private thoughts of Gulia Yelps. Please refrain from reading my diary. Or Gulia's pet named Sir Hootsalot. Okay, so that was a look at the new re-release Gulia and comparing her against the original. If you want to pick up the six pack, you can get her from Toots Toys. I'll just leave a link to their website in the description below. And once again, thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you same place, same time tomorrow.